It's easy to understand, and after you do this once, you will never forget it for the rest of your life. So start by imagining what a frying pan would look like, as if it were superimposed upon the guitar fingerboard. I know it sounds kind of goofy, but trust me on this. Now imagine tracing over the frying pan shape with notes taken from minor pentatonic scale. So this first octave worth. It's only on a two string layout. And this shape is the first in a series that's gonna be repeated up through three octaves. And that's a lot of distance, you know, working across the neck when you're soloing. And as long as you hold the frying pan shape in your mind, you'll be able to carry on across all the other areas of the fingerboard with pretty much a lot of ease to it. You won't have to think too hard to do this. Now, try relocating that frying pan shape to a mid-range octave area within the same key. It's really easy to do. You did it down here already. So you can do it up here now in the middle of the neck. So same idea, same exact shape, but we just bumped it from between the sixth and fifth strings to now located between fourth and third. And you can extend the range of the pentatonic scale pattern even 